What is up and what is percolating part of people? As you guys can tell, it is your host with the most, Paul Kansu, reporting live and direct with a well and long past due video arrival. So in this exclusive ass video, what I have for you guys is how to accessorize like a boss on a budget. So the first items we're gonna crack into once again are the hats. And what I typically wear, as you guys can tell on head, are snizzy snapbacks. I got a 40 ounce on head. This is a 40 ounce right here. And then the other hats that I typically wear that are in style right now are pretty hot are these little high fashion hats as people is calling them. So I got this here one, and no, this isn't some like $80 hat that you gotta go to your exclusive hat making boutique to get. This isn't something you get at the mall at PacSun. This isn't something you go to Nordstrom to get, no. This is a $7 exclusive from the Riggedy Rose, AKA Ross Dress for Less. So I have about three of these. One of them I thrifted for $4 that's brown. One of them is gray that I got at Burlington Coat Factory for $8. And this one is $7 for the win that I got at Ross. It looks cool, it's hella cheap, so if you're funny, this is definitely the hat to get if you just want to like goof off and be like, I'm so high fashion. Some other hats that are pretty hot are also bucket hats. Oh, buckets! And this one is a camo one that I got, which is really sick because it has a zipper that I actually thrifted for $2.99. You just gotta check that sweatband. If it is nice, cocaine white and pristine, then you have nothing to worry about. If it looks like it was shat on by a damn cum guzzling monster, obviously you don't wanna get it. So just be patient and go thrifting and I guarantee you will find a bucket hat. All right, now moving down in terms of accessories, we're gonna get into the glasses because I am blind than a bat but fly than a feather in any type of weather. So of course, the first pair of glasses that I wear on the regular are these Paul Smith spectacles right here. They say cherish the day right inside there. They're uh, squarish shaped, tortoise skin with a little bit of dark navy midnight blue on the interior. But this is what they look like. I think they look pretty dope overall. What up? So I got these in 11th grade. They were super expensive, probably like $400. But back in the day, my mom would take us to the eye doctor and get us a pair of glasses that we pretty much had to last with for like two to three years. So she was like, fuck it, I'm gonna drop bankrolls on my kids right now. So shout out to you, Mama Cantu. And I uh, really do love these Paul Smith glasses as well. And while we're on the topic of glasses, what's even better considering I got those in 2011 was that I recently got sponsored by a glasses company. So shout out to Firmu or Firmo.com, Firmo lenses. And so essentially they hit me up and they're like, yo, we have some really sick glasses. We'd like to send you a pair. I went on their website. All their glasses are super cheap, ranging from about $30 to $46 max. So that'd be $55 shipped for some sick prescription or regular glasses. But it's only a dollar more to get a prescription lens. And this is the pair that I selected, which you guys saw in one of my videos. They are these really round tortoise frames once again and I'm getting all up and intimate in the camera. But I think these are really sick because once again, round frames will go really nicely with a lot of outfits I have. They make me look more distinguished and shit. For the price, these are like definitely like top tier quality in my personal opinion and the prescription. So all you guys need to do if y'all want a pair is once again, have your prescription ready, have your pupillary distance measured, which your eye doctor does. So just call up your eye doctor, be like, prescription please. And they'll be like, bet. And then you can go ahead and order yourself a pair for $50 or less, which is really sick and a hell of a deal. So definitely check them out. Once again, the link will be down below in the description. Now transitioning into the next section of accessories, we're going to get into the watches that I personally wear and that I love to rock with. So the first one that you guys see me wear in a lot of my videos is this pendulum watch right there. I don't know why I'm still leaving it on wrist. This hurts and feels super awkward. So as you guys can tell, that's the name of the brand right there. I got this off of plunder.com. It is super substantial, super heavy. And what's even better is that it's adjustable on this like elastic looking like strap. So you guys don't have to get like joints taken out of it or whatever the proper technical term for that is. And I think this cost me about $20 on plunder. And then another watch that I got is this G-Shock in the Aqua Berry colorway, straight up. And I got this bad boy for I think $20 as well or like 16 bucks at Buffalo Exchange so if you guys are looking for G-Shocks or name brand watches I highly recommend going to Buffalo Exchange and then I have a couple of other watches that unfortunately are back in Austin where I live and where I attend school and that's a black and silver like Armatron watch that I got at Finish Line for $30 and then a red watch that I got Plunder once again and now getting into the necklaces that I personally rock on the regular and that I get a lot of questions about so the first one that I recently picked up is this here super long 
Goblin Gold, what I call Cuban Link Octopus Chain. But this is a really sick chain that I actually got for $5 at Goodwill in Sacramento, which was a hell of a deal. The only reason I honestly got it was purely for the aesthetics of this here octopus looking like tassel that hangs down on it that's made of gold. So if you guys are looking for gold necklaces and accessories, you either can spend $50 to $100 online or you can go into thrift stores and get a really sick piece for $5. This feels heavy, it feels substantial, no one will question you unless it's a random bitch in the elevator who actually did ask, is that real gold? And I was like, if I got out of a Rolls Royce and was an old man, would you ask me that? No. Get on, girl. Get on. Another necklace that I rock on the regular is this gold chain necklace right here that everyone always once again asks where I got it from. Where I get everything from is pretty much in a video so you guys need to check out my OG vids. But this one fits really well, really sexy and I actually got it for 25 cents at a garage sale. And what's even better about it is I actually think this is real gold because she said it was 40 years old, has never tarnished, so I actually might go and get this checked out by an official Goblin Gold doctor to see if it's legit leprechaun gold. So now we're gonna crack into my beautiful fish fetish jewelry box and see what I got all up in here. So another really sick ass necklace is this Peruvian gold necklace right here. I actually got this like pendant thing at a garage sale for $2.50 and it didn't come with a necklace so I just threw it on this really cheap like thin gold chain that I got at Home Depot for $2.99. It is a super long chain so I definitely like wearing it with extended fits. Another necklace that I recently acquired at the thrift store is this here Sacagawea, JK this here Sacagawea uh, like $1 coin necklace right here and I really mess with it because once again I'm very interested in Native American culture and also because it says 2014 on it which is the year when my YouTube channel pretty much blew up so that's why I mess with it and it's really dope because it's silver and gold so you guys can definitely mix and match like a gold watch and then like a silver like earring or silver like blah 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 along with this piece so it really can tie together that nice gold and silver look that a lot of people usually don't cross pollinate with you feel what I'm saying a couple of other quick necklaces to get into and to mention real quick and sexy like I got these here like religious necklaces because I was raised Roman Catholic and I think they're really dope. I usually wear them under my shirt just as a reminder to not go to hell because honestly I do some fucked up shit in my life which I'm trying to improve on so yeah. Boom! So now transitioning into the bracelet department. A couple of bracelets that I wear on the regular are by Domo Bees which actually hooked me up with a sponsorship. But yeah I wear these black and gold bracelets all the time once again because I have rooster wrists aka my wrists are skinny as hell. I also got sent a plethora of other bracelets such as these and then I also have a tiger's eye and like metallic gold metal bracelet right there which is super sick and then another bracelet that I rock as well is this here religious one with the Saints because once again I was raised Catholic and I do believe in the Lord Almighty all right, so last but certainly not least, we're gonna get into the earring department right now, the video. So I get a lot of questions about my earrings, about the two that I actually have on. So I'll just talk about those briefly. So the first earring that I wear all the time is this here feather earring. People always ask where I got it from. Honestly, I don't know. My sister got it for me, but she sent me a shit ton of Forever 21 earrings. So I'm just gonna assume that's where she got it from as well. Cause she'd be on that cheap shit, but it's still dope as hell. And then the other earrings that I wear all the time, are these junks right here. Fucking bitch. And I actually got those on Amazon for I think $8 as well. And if you guys are curious as to where I got my ears pierced, I got these shits is pierced at Claire's. Yes, the store where tweens go to get all their little pink stuff, their little earrings, their little cheap jewelry. That's where I got my ears pierced. All right, y'all, so getting back into this a billiards table of a felt box that I thrifted as well, that fish fetish on deck. As you guys can see from left to right, we got some floral earrings that that girl Denise got me, AKA my ex, so shout out to her one time. I got these big ass gold earrings that I actually got at Forever 21. Some diamond earrings, which I actually <laughs> took from my ex-girlfriend. She gave them to me and I forgot to ever give them back because I had them for like a year. And then I have these little fake diamonds right there and then some black little studs, some silver little studs. 
and then some little like other studs right there. I also have these here hoop earrings as well, which are pretty dope. And I had a pair of red floral earrings right there, but I actually lost the other one. And shout out to my girl, Abby, who actually made me those. That's really sick, a really nice gift. And then once again, here is the disturbing evidence of where I get my earrings from, and that is Claire's, because they're super cheap and super dope. So I got those from Claire's. I get a lot of stud packs from Claire's. As you guys can tell, those were all black, and I rock those all the time, because I love me some black earrings. And then these are what my sister sent me. Uh, she sent me some feather earrings once again from Forever 21. These are a bit big and outrageous. Someone said I look like an 80s lesbian wearing them, which is pretty hilarious and like semi-true. But I honestly get a lot of compliments from males and females when I rock these. And males in terms of being like, yo, Paul, those are hard. Not in terms of, hey, can I suck your dick, Paul? Even though, you know, I know all y'all dudes be thinking that shit on the low. JK, JK. And so, bang, bang. That essentially concludes this whole video in its entirety. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want any of the beaded jewelry, check out Dumbo Beads. The link will be down below. If y'all want some really sick, cheap prescription glasses, once again, go to firmolens.com. Link will be down below as well. They are sick as hell. If you guys want to find out where I got this hat or the other hat, I'll leave links to plunder and my rep code for that down below too. And once again, guys, like on some real talk, people are always worried about what shoes I have. Paul, I just need some Jordans. Paul, I just need some like earrings, I need some chains, I need some this, I need some that, I need some blah, blah, blah. You do not need these items to be a dope individual. What you need is to be comfortable in your own skin, be confident in who you are, and constantly move to better the world and improve yourself as a person. Because honestly, at the end of the day, none of this material stuff really matters. It's about your confidence, who you are as a person, and what you're moving towards in life. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry I had to get a little bit real with you guys in this video, but I goof off a lot, and I actually have a lot of deeper intentions behind everything I do, and that's what I want to share with you guys. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and once again, live the dream and eat ice cream to reiterate peace.